and uh, next thing we're going to uh, uh, do the railing we're going to uh, dimension the railing and uh, it's a small one but it's it's a railing for this one again we go to UCS place it an object put it on there uh, X Y Z okay and then uh, we are going to go to output and we're gonna go quick documents and in here we're gonna look for stairs and railings stairs and railings but we want to do railings so we go uh, railing at UCS so main part of the detail view according to the UCS so our UCS is X X in this direction and Y in that direction and uh, that's how we're gonna look at it so this is what we want uh, again there's you can choose this one which gives you the side and the top view but uh, for this demonstration we're gonna just use that so use that and again in here uh, maybe we'll change the scale to I ah, will leave that scale see how it turns out uh, here you on this one I don't think we need to take off anything everything is good uh, click OK and uh, click uh, a part of the railing and then so select it with the right button and then sorry select it with the left mouse button and then right click and you bring you back to that and we'll name that rail uh, again we're still using the C and we can go OK and that document is created uh, let's see what we created here so that's the rail open drawing voila okay so that's the railing there that's the kick plate at the bottom and uh, it's dimension nice and neat we have the mid rail on the top and uh, this is pretty much identical to that so if you look at it there if you look at it uh, in that view uh, you see the X and Y direction make sure you put your UCS before you create any drawings a lot of them rely on the UCS uh, that's the universal coordinate system of course and then uh, you can uh, double click the outside of that and change put in some changes revisions whatnot uh, scale uh, you can change the name there and uh, you can do all sorts of stuff again you can add more dimensions if you need but this should suffice 